see. I think I'll enjoy it here, thanks. Well, I'm hoping you do. <laughs> Best thing you can do for now is kind of just pull up a chair, try and relax, maybe grab a drink. Because we've been going for a lot longer than I normally do, at the very least. But we've been having some fun. Let's see, I'll put you there. And I will say, at the very least, this has been a fairly enjoyable game overall. I know the visual novel aspect might turn a few people off. It's mostly just something to get used to at the end of the day. Bangmon's still not moving. Alright, is Numemon gonna end up moving this time? Now that we've gotten Dobermon a little bit closer? There we go. And Greymon can now keep up a little bit, so sure, buddy, go for it. Just stay defending. Alright, Falcomon. What do you feel like doing, buddy? Why don't we just go here? Attack. Scratch Smash, because you're basically regening that enough anyways. I have been told to tell you happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you very much, Caramel. Uh, yeah, today is my build day at the very least, so... We've just been trying to enjoy that. Let's see here. I told him. <laughs> Thank you very much, Haruhi. Up. And then you... This should be enough. Let's see here. Ice Blast. Go for it, buddy. Cool. Later, Gazimon. Alright, so now we're just setting up to keep people protected. So that way we can get the other guys around the back. So we're just going to move everybody up to about here. And actually, I can't just use these on allies, can't I? There you go, buddy. Let's keep you up and alive, please and thank you. I need you because you're going to be part of our four champion squad. Move. Oops. There we go. We'll draw the line here. Because I'm not sure what will proc him to move. Alright, new Mimon. Nope, he's still just guarding. Alright. Alright, well, Dober. Go nuts. You can't get past. That's a bit of a shame. I'll just put you here, though. And turn. Alright, Falco. Just end turn for now. Well, let's move up by two. Move up by one. Just so that way we're close. But not close enough that it should proc him. Because if it does, we are not set up very well for that. And turn. Just defend. Numemon finally is going to go on Greymon, too. You really do not like Greymon, dude. All right, well, move it on up. We will defend. Move it on up and defend. If we're going to be doing tactics, we got to do this well, so. All right, Dobermon. Shite, he's moving. Shit. Ow. Okay. Good to know. So I guess I'm gonna have to go hard on him now. Without Dobermon. That's not good. Go for it. We need to deal with this new Maimon quick. Nice. 432. Good job, buddy. And turn. You can honestly just attack from there. Just kill, please. Cool. Alright, so new Mimon down. Later, buddy. Alright then. Move you over to here. Then you can get ready for that chest next turn. I also just realized that's Flaumon guarding that attack. Oh no. What am I in for? Alright, go for it, dude. We're going to need to be super cautious with this, but we can do it. Alright, move. 
How much damage does this do? That actually does a decent chunk. Okay. Get fucked, wolf. We didn't get the bonus, though. That kind of sucks. Alright. That's good for now. Um... I feel like any way I face, he's going to be able to get a back hit in anyways, so... That's not a huge concern. Uh, you go here. At least I think so. You can also move beside, but... I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Ooh, nice. Thank you for the assist. Oh, hey there, Viper and crew. Oh, he's almost dead already. Ah, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> but welcome, welcome, Viper Raiders. Hopefully you're having a fantastic evening so far. Uh, to anyone from Viper's side that may not know me, just in case, uh, my name is Jude, your Judicial Utility Droid oh, Mark III. Here to play a few games while we chill. <laughs> Four, what ten game? Oh, hit. that's an old clip. Wow, <laughs> that's back from Labyrinth of Refrain. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, yeah, that's a super old clip. That's when you were fighting against something that's Beelzebub, basically. <laughs> well, it technically pulled many of them, so nothing wrong with that. But how did your uh, Xenoblade 3 playthrough go so far? Are you finding that's going to be about as long as what you're thinking right now? Or are you thinking it's a little bit better than that? Let's see. I'm going to move you back here for now. And we are going to item... Bandage... Onto Flora. There we go. It's fun. So far, we just got the full party. You just got a full party? Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, if you just got the full party, that's at least kind of helpful. I'm just gonna put you back here. Actually. Here. End turn. I go Shin Megami Tensei Digimon. Uh, so far it's going okay, but we haven't really... Alright, I want those chests from this boss fight. Defend. <laughs> I spent a lot of time faffing about and killing mobs and just searching the map. Honestly, fair. Very, very fair. Ow. That hurt. Alright, Dover. I'm gonna need to survive for like two turns to get this. And turn. Pop. Let's see. Attack. Just one. Okay, we'll get that. I'm being a little bit greedy here, trying to fish for these. But all things considered, these items should be good, considering this is a boss fight. So I'm going to do my best with it. Oh, I could have gotten Greymon to go after that one. Oh, that sucks. Well, that was a failed plan. But yeah, we're doing alright so far with it, at least. It's definitely not a simple game by any means, because there's a lot of visual novel to it, and there's just a lot of just potential backlash with it. Uh, bandage on... Actually, I need something a bit better than a bandage, don't I? Big bandage. This is a boss fight. We're allowed to spend a big bandage. That only does five. Oh. The big man just doesn't do as much as I figured. Alright. You two back off a little bit. I love you guys, but you're not ready to fight Fangmon. We'll keep you here just in case, but I don't think he can attack you guys there. There we go. Alright. Last time we gotta let him attack. But I have to defend with you. That kind of sucks. Um, Dude. That's fine. If you're just attacking him, as long as it isn't great, we're good. God, that hurts, though. 
That hurts so much. Die, right, Dober. Get us our last item. Attack. Attack. Oh, that's actually a bigger chest. Okay. God, that would have been so mean. If you were just a, someone who was struggling with this fight, and you had to go to this chest and realize it has a crap ton of health still, that would hurt. Uh, just evolve back into Labramon. You guys aren't really doing anything right now anyways. Because we will be able to finish this off right after Greymon's turn. Alright. End the turn now. Nice. Alright, Greymon, you can honestly just deep to devolve too. There's not really a point to get all the extra crap out of the way, but... There we go. And then end turn, you should be fine. Because Mega C will probably take this out here. Yeah. Alright, Mega C. I brought you up for a reason. You're an important fish, and I'm somehow growing very, very attached to Metal Seedermon. So, go die, Fangermon. Or go die, Fangmon. <laughs> nice. Another boss fight without absolutely getting anyone murdered. That was close. Note to self. Keep rookies away from bosses where possible from now on. But there we go. And everyone got some level ups too. But they were only level. They were so low level for this too. That hurts. But there we go. Boss fight done. And considering I've been going for 12 hours, I was not planning on going super far past this. <laughs> so we'll just kind of get through some epilogue story here. Cedramon Pog? Exactly. Cedramon is our boy? I don't know about Cedramon yet. Because they're just an NPC Digimon, I don't know what assigned gender they have right now. Let's see. Skill Crystal, Learning Crystal, Boost Seed, Choice Ribs. Ooh, nice. We got another Mature Enlightenment style. That might actually help a bit. The uh, hold on. Sincerity Melon? I guess that's going to be a training thing. Alright, that's fine. Cool, though. Boss fight done. Took us 12 hours to get through two bosses. That's a good sign. This is going to be a game I'm going to be playing for a very long time, I feel. <laughs> We did it! It was tough, but boss is down now. Yeah, Shuji, you want to, like, step up a bit? You're kind of the teacher's assistant at this rate. You kind of just gave up on your student. The heck's going on? There's a... yeah, there's a ton to explain, Saki. Like you said, a lot to explain. Lotmon is best friends with him now. Oh, come on, Shuji, it's Lotmon. It's like one of the cutest Digimon in existence. Or at least one of the cutest rookies. That's because you're so mean. Yeah, come on, Shuji. The visual novel bits look really good. They do look really good. They honestly just nailed the art for this game. Oh, shite. But the battle's done, he should be dead. He's not dead. <laughs> Considering what Lotmon turns into, be nicer. Yeah, exactly. All things considered, Lotmon needs to be treated well. We didn't double tap? Really, guys? Like, I get it, but like, double tap. Zombie apocalypse rules or monster land rules. Make sure you double tap. Otherwise, this stuff happens. You're much tougher than I thought. Admittedly, I was kind of pacing him a little bit. He's real stubborn. It takes two Terra Forces. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. That's the rule. Like, it's just a Fangmon. I feel like we can get away with one Terra Force, right? Can't afford to give up now. And I'll protect Aoi. Alright, let's see what we can do. What's gonna happen? You're still willing to fight for us? They must have reached the limit by now. I don't think we have much left. <laughs> One against so many? Hardly seems fair. Oh, he bails? 
Arigato. Crap. That means I'm gonna have to meet him later when he becomes an ultimate. Oh no. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Although the music still isn't good. Yeah, the music is still creepy. He's not gone. Oh no. That music timing is just so bad. Um... Let's see here. So what do we want to do? I'm assuming these are our... Nope, these are all plot effect choices. These are not mood effect choices. Crap, what do we want to do? Resting isn't a good thing right now. Because we didn't kill it, it can still come after us. But what's the safest way to deal with this? Like, expect him to be around, so going after him is the smart option, so that way we're on the lookout for him? If we rest, we're just gonna be sitting here, where we just fought him. That sounds like an awful idea. Oh, we do have colors on these. Hmm. That doesn't help. Because we've been trying to stick to the moral path, but... Resting here seems like the dumbest idea. Ah, god, I hate this. The choices in this definitely make you think too much, because I'm not sure what the best option will be. And with the threat that people can die in this, you gotta be really careful about it. God, I am not sure. Let's stick to the moral high ground. It's what we're doing. I'm gonna hate myself if this gets someone killed, but... Ooh. Nice, I forgot the dry dice drop with that. <laughs> we're too exhausted. In no state to complain anymore. Alright, let's see if I made a horrible decision. But what happened to the professor? He fell off the dam. Okay, the bad music's gone. Now it's just the sad music. It's hard to say, and as I had stated, someone else said it. The fog. The fog is picking up in the dam? Okay. That fog is dangerous. That fog is very dangerous. As we've learned up to this point at the very least, the fog is able to take your memories away. And we're not sure what else it can do, because obviously taking the memories away is already kind of bad enough as is. But Doc is not going to have a good time. I mean, falling from a dam does not immediately kill you, at least. He fell before the fog came in, right? Maybe the fog didn't touch him? I mean, we don't know for a fact he's dead. He's technically true. We don't know. We don't see the body. We don't know that he's dead. See? Falcomon gets it. Falcomon's on the body train. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, Falcomon. Don't ruin it. Yeah. We gotta believe in him. No, Minoru. Don't go down. We gotta be safe here, bud. Don't stop me? No, I'll go with you. I just want to make sure. Okay. So, gogglehead moment. That's fine. I'll go too. If there's even a chance he's still alive, we have to help. Okay, cool. Everyone's pulling the other for this. Saki's good. Is Shuji gonna be the wet towel? Cool. Shuji's not gonna be the wet towel. But the fog, though? I think we're not gonna get into the fog, but we're gonna at least gonna be close. So it should be fine? Just gonna pin that in the wall. Should be fine. But the fact that Fangmon ran... That's concerning. Oh, no, we're in the fog a little bit. Okay. Oh, and there was a canal down here. He might really be okay. Let's head downstream. He might have been carried away by the pool of the water. Yeah, we were kind of fighting for a while, so... You may be able to hear us out then, Kalatum. 
You get the. Mm. If he was carried downstream, he's not going to hear us here. Ah. I'm pretty sure that's Fangmon again, isn't it? That thing might be nearby. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. We're going to have to figure this out. Okay, I'm just going to have a look around. I'll be extra careful. Gogglehead. Fangmon can go invisible. What are you expecting? Ah, there's Fangmon. I guess he's just resting here. He's really been roughed up. Yeah, we kind of kicked his teeth in a little bit. He must have got hurt worse than we thought. That's a problem, but... Did that thing just get caught up in the fog? Yeah, the fog rolled over its feet and then it can't move anymore. Alright, well maybe we don't have to worry about Fangmon and his ultimate. But, uh, that's a new symptom of the fog. Apparently you can get trapped in it. I wonder why that fog is scaring me even more the more I look at it. I mean, fair. Agumon and the others are backing off. Ryo can't even stand the sight of it. Oh. These are our color choices. Why would you even do that? That is so rude. Observation is key. It's scary, but if we close our eyes, we won't learn anything, so we should just watch it. We might find out some way to deal with it. We just can't know. <laughs> just smooch. We're not smooching Fangmon on what side. Like, he's kind of stuck there, I think. Hmm. Is Fangmon freaking out? Alright, well Fangmon is definitely a little bit worse for wear. What's going on, buddy? Alright, well, this isn't a good sign. Ah. Ah. Well. There goes Fangmon. Fangmon got hit with the Shadow Realm. <laughs> This isn't the first time we've seen that portal, by the way. Just as a heads up. That black shadow portal is not new. <laughs> he hit us with a Yamato. He's done. Yeah. He's quite done. <laughs> the fog just got Fangmon. It just omnommed. Bye bye, Fangmon. That was cooler than I could have imagined. None of us can even speak. Yep. Yeah. Oof. Fangmon be gone. So, note to self, do not stand in the fog. Alright, that's probably a good place to cut it off. So let's just see where the nearest place I can save is, because Jesus. Oh, we actually got info on them. I was wondering when we were going to get to them, but I'm going to start that next week because I think it's fa fair to say... Twelve and a half hours is a little past my normal limit. <laughs> but that's been fun. That's definitely a lot more visual novel than I was expecting, but that's not a bad thing. I've been meaning to get into those anyways. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me any one of these kids can get annihilated? Yep, any one of these kids can die. It should affect the story, from what I've heard. And at least from what the developers have said, you are not... They are expecting most people on first playthrough to not get through the game without somebody dying. So you have to do your damnedest, apparently, to make sure you can do well in this. Ooh, nice Porygon. <laughs> no, no, stay in the fog and nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> I think the last kid that we saw actually get into the fog has, like, no mental capacity now, and at best she's good parroting her brother. So, not the best time for her. Not the best time, at the very least. Eh. So, I do plan on one more stream tomorrow. It won't be a 12-hour stream, just because this was the celebration one. But we'll be having Terraria tomorrow night at around 8 p.m. EDT. As long as my voice can actually stay intact. We'll have to see. But I do want to thank everyone for stopping by for the birthday stream, especially considering we got a shite ton of actual activity today. 
uh, filter. Get rid of reward requests. Raids. Follows. Goodbye. I just need to see what the other ones actually happened. Okay, so. Want to thank Solace for, I think, the 400 bits, roughly, that you've given over the stream. What side for giving three subs? Goodbye. What side for the multitude of bits? Mousy for the resub. For Purr for the resub. Uh, Aiden for the multiple gift subs and the bits, just to make sure we got a little bit of extra love in there. Viper for the five bits earlier. Viper for the resub with Prime. Thank you again for that. Solace, just gifting a few various subs throughout the night as well. Liz for the sub. Jen for gifting out the ten subs. Uh, non for gifting out five subs. Jason for gifting out a sub. Tin for gifting a sub to Cross. And that's it. It's been a long night. It, or it's been a long day, rather. So thank you everybody for joining. I guess let's just pass on the love to someone else. Um, I guess we probably should do a bit more of a custom raid message for this one, shouldn't we? I guess just birth raid? Or build day raid? That might be a little bit better. Now who is online right now? Oh hey, look at that! Zay is online. Can't hide from me, Zay. So, let's see. Happy build day raid. Then copy that. We'll do the usual way of doing it. So, here, and love. That one for people who do not have, or those for people who do have a sub. And then, purple. There we go. And that's for people who don't have the sub. And let's see here. Raid. There now. I think I spelled that right. The target channel has disabled raids. What? Say, that's cheating. You're not allowed to do that. Oh, that's rude. That's super rude, Zay. You know what? Fuck it. Soft raid. Oh, Zay does have clips. Interesting. <laughs> we'll do a soft raid. Sound good? <laughs> because Zay does deserve to be a little bit bugged. Especially if they're just gonna block raids anyways. But, do want to thank everyone for stopping by at the very least. We'll go bug Zay at the very least, so take the command and just follow over to Zay. They do draw some slightly spicier art, but they're a good friend, so always a good thing at the end of the day. But do want to thank everyone for stopping by. Hopefully you have a fantastic night, and I'll talk with you another time. Bye bye